I must be quite honest, although I met this guy many, many years ago, at least 20 years ago, if not more, involved in a lot of things, I never knew where he lived. He was like all over the place, doing things for people. I didn't know he had a real job, I didn't know he had a real life, but uh, Butch Denner, when I found out that he actually lives in my son's district and goes to my son's synagogue, boy was I happy. I said he was a lucky guy to have you on his team. Uh, Okay. Not only does he worry about things that go on in the immediate area in New York State, but he worries about what goes on in Israel as well with the exchange of the firefighters to Israel and etc. So uh, that's a guy who thinks local and thinks abroad. And as a Jew, I know that that's very, very special. Uh, of course, for Jews, but likewise, if we have roots elsewhere, um, I always have a good feeling when people take pride of not only where we are today, but where we came from. And uh, it is told that if you know where you came from, you know where you're going to go, where, where we're going. So uh, it is really with great, great uh, pleasure that I can make this kindness award, a chesed award, to Butch Denner uh, for your dedicated service to the Jewish community and citizens of Ulster County in Fountain Breakfast, June 27th, 2010. Thomas 15th, 5,770 years, according to the Hebrew calendar. I was not giving out a telephone number. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, signed by your rabbi and uh, Rebbitzin Hef. And I do want to say, it was very nice to say about the graduating class, our mother, thank God, is 83 years old, still runs the campus and involved. Um, so you, your energy, I just want to let you know, in our community, well, you're next. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> I'd like to go to Tom Butch. Usually I'm the one doing the presenting. My wife and I have a bet. The over-under on me crying is about 11. <laughs> and I just got a text, Sheriff, from... Uh, from uh, Chris Howe. He wants to make sure that you'll be at the substation. So. <laughs> <laughs> way out. I sent him a picture of all you cowboys here. <laughs> to be honored by the Heck family is beyond my words. Um, <laughs> I lived in Ulster County 41 years. I came here as a college freshman to New Paltz. I was raised in a family where I'm named Leon from my father's brother, the one who didn't make it out of Europe. He's laying dead in Poland. They gave me his name. It was so painful, they immediately started calling me Butch. Plus, I come from generations of hot place butchers. So <laughs> <laughs> I kind of grew into the name. But um, I carry the tradition of my uncle Leon my whole life. And I was searching for a shoe. I live in New Paltz, so you can imagine the Jews that I have in New Paltz, please. <laughs> and when I saw Susan Slot in the reading from the Torah, I knew I had to find a new rabbi. <laughs> so I'm also involved politically because when I was five years old, my mother, Allah Shalom, took me as a Democrat Party worker, I forgive her now, um, <laughs> but as a Democrat Party worker, to the polls, she worked for the Democrats every year of my childhood, bake sale and election worker. So I grew up that way. So I meet Bruce Tuckman, wherever he is, my sugar <laughs> and uh, we disagree on everything politically except with Jews. And I said to him one day on Wall Street, how come I like you so much? You're such a Democrat. He goes, because we're yits. <laughs> and years later, a month after Michelle held the chuppah with my sisters who came to honor me at my wedding at Mohawk, Bruce and Michelle put a prayer in the Whaley Mall. I'm sick eight years. I'm waiting for a liver transplant eight years. I'm as close to death as you could be. And I even invited my doctor to the wedding to make sure I made it through. And they put a prayer on Shabbos in the Whaley Mall. And 24 hours later, Hashem gives me the miracle of life. Wow. Can I not give back? 
how can I not give back to my community, to my friends, to my rabbi? I searched all these years, and Michelle and Bruce tell me about this rabbi. That's Rabbi Hack. So everybody here knows. The search was over. I found my rabbi. When I daven, I daven like my father is still with me. The, the love, the, the, the sanctity that I get from this family, it, the Heck family, the, the, the Habat Israel family, the community. Uh, thank you. You can talk about our But I'm here because our country, Israel, our homeland, is under attack. And I won't let that happen alone. So a friend comes to me and says there's a program, the EVP, Emergency Volunteers Program. Israeli EMTs and firefighters come to this country and recruit. Can you help? Can I help? So over there is one young lady, and over here is another <laughs> young lady. Their boyfriends are five New Pulse firefighters, who I call the New Pulse heroes of Israel. They stepped up. They went to Israel. I raised the 18000 to them. That was the easy part. They went to Israel and trained with the Meshuggah Israeli firefighters <laughs> for weeks. They were there for Holocaust Remembrance Day, and they were there for Israeli Independence Day. Their lives were changed. Our fire department was changed. Our community was changed because these five brave heroes stepped up and went to help our people. When politicians turn their backs, countries turn their backs, our president turns his back, their boyfriends, their husbands, stood up and went to Israel and trained, and they are going back to fight again because the war is going to continue. In case anybody wants to help, I'm still raising money. You go to www.newpaltsheroesforisrael.com. You can contribute there. You can send checks because I'm going to need thousands more dollars. I raised 18000 and the training and the trip caused that. But Israel took them in. They are now part of Israel. Israel is part of them. So I thank you for this honor. The Heck family, I'm sorry I took up all your time, but the sheriff left, so we're okay. <laughs>